Hello, it's Els, Elizabeth Craft Designs. How are you doing? Uh, I am going live from uh, our uh, new home here. So I'm going to my craft room in a bit, but there's something in the street that I wanted to show. So I thought I start outside. Uh, I am here with, uh, wait, let me turn around. With uh, Sammy here, who's here and behind me here. Oh, he goes there, is James. Uh, Joop is in Canada at the moment. Uh, so if he's watching, he's here with Tom. And um, Josette is traveling. So everybody's traveling because uh, Mark and Daniela are gone as well for the weekend. Uh, hi, Michelle. Uh, and Mary, hi. So I'm just starting here. Yeah, I'm, I'm babysitting the dogs. Yeah, look. And James always sitting on the highest part. If he can, he can go higher there. And then jumps off that little ridge when he sees something. Because if you see the fence there, that's actually where the trails are. So uh, that's where the deer are. And uh, so when they pass, they uh, he makes quite a noise. It's a, it's a wonderful garden. We're very happy here, I have to say. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk. I'm going to leave the dogs in the garden because they don't know... Uh, uh, they can't, they're not allowed to see <laughs> what I'm going to show you because otherwise they get wild. Uh, and um, the deer is there for quite a while already and we just had um, some thunderstorm but I think he's still there air conditioning we need that so much here that's what I say uh, sometimes I did not choose to move to Florida Michelle but it is so warm here at the moment so I'm um, sure so the thunderstorm I thought oh we might get some rain but we're not so I need to make sure that I close the fence very well because otherwise is he still there? Yeah, he is. Wait. So that's the front of the house here. And then I'm going to turn the camera around. Because that's what we have here in the street. So here we have the deer. Oh, there's a neighbor uh, passing. Do you see him on the other side there? I'm not going too far because then I lose internet from the house. But do you see the deer? That, like the big deer there? It's so cool. So he's laying there for, I think, about uh, two hours already. It's so cool. So it's a really nice area, you see. And now James is uh, probably in front of the window. So he is, uh, <laughs> I think he is, yeah, probably. And, um, oh, I was talking about the trash can earlier that I was uh, saving them a slice. So you see, so this is our original, I was talking about it the last live. This is our original uh, old trash can from the Netherlands. It's rusty inside. I can still put plants in there. But that's what we use uh, for um, for the uh, garbage. Well, here you see a little bit of the house and I can leave the dogs in from the... I'm going to leave the dogs in <laughs> because they... Uh, here, let me show you. Wait, there they are. Because they want to be inside. <laughs> Come on, eh? good boys. And then I have a little doggy door here, which is nice. They can actually go outside. Although with the echo, I should leave that door closed. But since we are um, since we are live now, I'm just going to give them the opportunity to go in and out. Oh, and here is a... Uh, yeah, nice, eh, Saskia? It is so nice, the, uh, the, oh, the old trash can. I have some old buckets as well. And I walk to my craft room. And I will turn the uh, camera around. And then you'll see how small it is, but how cool it is. Where can I change? Oh, here, there we go again. You see, so that's my new domain. <laughs> it was also the only room because the rest of the bedrooms has carpet and this one had the wooden floor. So that was so nice. So here you see some old buckets. I have all the old stuff here. So that's potatoes and vegetables. That's just, you know, I like old stuff. So, um, well, you know, let's start here. So I'm going to stand in one corner. And uh, then you can see here, I have all the old stuff that I had kind of scattered around in the in the log home, but that's not so for here. So like an old, uh, you see that it, those grays, those are pens, of course. And uh, left, that's a petroleum stelletje. So you can actually cook food on there. Or I think they simmered stuff on that earlier. The chicken I made a long time ago uh, when I was working at Pipo's, like an old uh, coffee uh, thing. 
uh, tins for tea bags, for petroleum, a little bird cage I bought in Belgium on an old market, droste like the with the nurse on that is kind of droste for hot chocolate, and a Delft blue vase, and then here I have stuff. Here I have all um, people in the Netherlands will uh, know it, and um, I just showed one to Annette. Uh, because those are all the old Vercada albums. And uh, I got those from my father-in-law. And I love those. So I have those in my craft rooms. But let me see what the one I showed to... Uh, oei, oei, where are they? They're, they're from Thaise. So it's all the... And I had mushrooms. Hmm. Maybe I put it aside. But these are all old books. And, uh, you know, here are the rivers. Let's see. They're so... Yeah, they're, they're all nice. They're all nice. So that's uh, very... People in the Netherlands uh, know these. So this is from uh, Thijs, it's called. And he had all those books. You see? From... Uh, you see? From all the... And you were kind of putting all those images in yourself. So I have those... Uh, oh, I call it small. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do call it small. Yeah. Compared to my... I think this is about the size of the... Uh, oh... I think I can, I could fit, well, maybe, maybe 10 times uh, in my other craft room, this, this space. So, and I don't have everything here yet. I do, um, you know, oh, the cards I got from uh, Sylvia here, is here. These ones I just bought because I thought they were so super cute. <laughs> I bought those in Canada not too long ago, just because I liked it. All my Tombow markers, Sakura markers. Oh, this one I decorated with shimmer sheets a long time ago. But shimmer sheets were super cool. Uh, coloring pencils. That's all from... Uh, I told you I had a lot of... Uh, so that's all watercolor, pastel. Oh, the, oh, those are regular ones. Those are in a jar, actually. Uh, pastels here. Those are all the latest ones. They are not the originals that were in there. Here I have all those beautiful uh, coloring pencils from... Uh, Bruinsil as well from my early days. Um, oh, I have my uh, Copic markers in a uh, you know I don't use them enough, but um, in an old Pepsi crate that I found, which is cool. Of course, my apron here. Yeah, shimmer sheets is cool here, and that's the ticket from our retreat, from our Esther Spark retreat. Markers from Tim that I never use. I should start. This one is kind of, I think, still a secret. We need, I need to try those. Um, that's actually not from our company, but from another company. Uh, here I got, I got this one under my uh, sink in the other house for uh, cutting boards, but it didn't fit well here. So, uh, and then I thought, oh, that's nice for all my plates and my, like, plates, cutting machines and uh, stamping platforms. Scoreboards. This I just like, but it's not very handy, actually. This is handy. I know a lot of people would love that. In the time that we sold uh, peel-off stickers, uh, we had them in here uh, before they were on the wall. You see, so I have all my stamps in here. So this is from the peel-off stickers, original. And I still need to organize my stamp. You see, I can just flick through that. Is that handy or not? We should manufacture that. That's so handy <laughs> for the regular size... You see? So you can just flick through this. So handy. So handy. And then just boxes there with uh, fabric and felt. And so this all needs to find, uh, you know, that's not final yet, but it's um, it's uh, nice here. Yeah, and my comments are behind. So, um, yeah. And that's, so th those bins are still empty, kind of. Well, the bottom one is filled with something that's, uh, that's actually something that's coming. Here I have um, my uh, refill, distress refill, because I really like my small distress inks. So, uh, because I can have them all at hand all the time. And then uh, you see here uh, some, like some twine. But you see, I still have space there. My old sewing uh, thing, some tins there, copy machine, another cutting die, the fold, fold away, which I never fold away, always store like that. The little one there. Cutting uh, thing, and then this is always messy because that's just leftover cardstock, and then I grab from it, and every now and then I clean it up. And uh, oh, you're a flipper, you like I know, yeah, this is actually really cool. The big ones, of course, don't fit in there, but it is cool. 
Then my uh, at home I have my Spellbinders machine here. This is fun. That's Josette's uh, at Disney. And she made that honey pot herself. Because when Josette did her exam in, uh, in the Netherlands, she had her... Uh, one of the assignments that she got is made... I think she had to make six different frames. And uh, this was one of them. So I really like that. And then this I did yesterday. And this is just like a... Uh, you know, with the books... Uh, <laughs> because I, I have those tubes for a long time already. But uh, I, I saw this system and I thought I liked it. So I just did it yesterday. I, say, I said to you, I need to have that. So Joop and Mark made this yesterday. And this is so cool. So uh, Joop had one of those pack boards left from the garage. And when I was teaching in Langley in uh, Canada, I had, um, there's, a, there's a store that's it's called Chroma. And they sell beautiful uh, paints there. And um, there's actually an, also a Sid Dickens store there. I, th I think so, Sid Dickens. Uh, you know, all the tiles that Esther kind of... Uh, that's also on Vancouver. That's very close to that. You see, so I got all those beautiful colors. <laughs> all those beautiful colors. And... Um, and, uh, you know, you do those clips. So I found this on Pinterest. And um, I was looking for a system that I could, uh, you know, I could clip this off. But I also can take them off like this. But um, I was looking for a system that I could hook them up here. And what I did is I found uh, shelf uh, things. And I, you still see the glue here. I just did it yesterday. So I uh, glued them in with Gorilla Glue. So it's actually the correct size. But just to secure them, I put them in... Uh, with Gorilla Glue, so I don't have all those big hooks. And I'm so this is my uh, wall of just a uh, touch and don't use. But it is, I did buy it for the jelly plate. <laughs> for the jelly plate. Uh, and then, of course, uh, there is no craft room without IKEA cards or any other, other brand cards. You see, I still have lots of space there. Lots of space there. Then here I have, oh, these are all my Smoker Man. You see that? And then here I have old stuff, bears. This is actually uh, for uh, knitting, uh, for uh, needles, uh, breinaalden. And uh, that's from my uh, mother's brother. I think he brought it for her, like bears. Uh, one of my neighbors made that one. One of those, Josette made that one. Uh, pots. I got that from Lolly. If Lolly is here, Lolly, you got a great place in my craft room. So Lolly gets and made that for me. And then, uh, like an old, you know, old stuff. And there, uh, a plate that's a stencil that I did years ago. And then here, my washi tape. But I have way more washi tape. So that still needs to come. This is fun. This is actually some old stuff. This is, uh, you know, my dad was a greengrocer. And, of course, he's still alive. So, But he's not a greengrocer anymore. And this is old wallets. I love that stuff. You see? So this is what he used uh, when he... Uh, because he went uh, like a... He had, a, he had a truck, so he went past houses to sell the groceries or on a farmer's market. So I love that kind of stuff. So uh, that's that. But you see, I still need to bring in stuff as well. Uh, some pictures there of Brooks. I got those for Mother's Day, which is great. Here I got my tapes and my... Uh, I did bring them a little bit closer. Here I have the... Uh, you see the uh, brushes... And there I have some drawers with shaker material. And these are my... So those are all smoker men. Mark made these. So I cannot... He, he did not a lot uh, crafty. But uh, Mark made these from Fimo. So I'm saving those. And what you see there, that little owl needs to get a place. And that little um, serving tray there. I actually made that myself. Because when I was really young, I did that. And um, here are my... Um, Distress inks, so I just always have that. And um, I think it's a good investment if you have the tins and all the felts. And then I have like my uh, daubers there. And um, instead of all the big ones, now I can have this always on my table. So I just like that. Daylight lamps, of course. My stand here, which I normally don't have here. But since I'm doing the live from here. Uh, my Oh, I can see myself here. You see, I still need to activate that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, Sound off. Do I see comments? No, you see now I see that I don't see comments yet. So I need to figure that out before I... Because otherwise... I should have it smaller something. Because then I can see you. 
I can't see the comments now, you see. So that's what I'm always struggling with, but that's fine. My selfie printer here. Uh, I decided that I will always have that on my desk so I can actually print. And then here's more old stuff. So this is uh, a uh, schoenenpoets, so for shoe, shoe polishing. And it says... Uh, uh, Glim, and Glim was the, that was the company. I think it was Luik and Glim or something. And there are actually the, the old uh, brushes from my uh, uh, grandparents in there. <laughs> and then uh, this is all, I don't know, I think one of my grandparents made that. That's an old from my grandma. It's broken for my great grandma, actually. That's for tea bags, but it's broken. Uh, this is old uh, things that my uh, mother's brother uh, took with him. My dad made all the boats. There is one that's actually called uh, Elizabeth because he made one for, uh, you see the Elizabeth there? You see, that's the Elizabeth. He made one for uh, both my sisters as well. This is an old teaspoon, uh, uh, an old teaspoon thing. Oh, there's nothing in there. Uh, this is uh, for the, you know, from the Canada train. We didn't take it, but it, I got it from uh, somewhere. This is uh, Petra from, uh, oh, I was teaching somewhere and she made that. Annika, those shells my mom has too as well, because if you put, that's just something from her brother, because if you put those to your ears, they make a sound. Kids love that. This mug, and that's what I like. So I'm not into antiques or something, but I like old stuff. And this is a cup that my grandmother always used. She had very bad rheumatism. And so she had, at the end, she had a cup that she could hold with two hands so she could still drink. And this is fun because that's actually a jar. Uh, those are uh, BB gun uh, bullets, uh, which we all found. That was a thing in, uh, in the house on the mountain. Um, there were uh, a lot of those BB gun uh, balls and we always looked for them with Tom and Annika. <laughs> and then an old uh, bread thing from my grandparents. And that's my, uh, the binoculars from my grandfather. So just old stuff. Old stuff. And then this one. So here I removed the door. So that was a sliding door. So I removed that. And then I left the shelves. And then I got that uh, unit from uh, Ikea. And I was very... Uh, I thought, oh, I can fit four. And then when I had it together, I thought, oh, will that slide in? And it did exactly slide in. So that was... Uh, so paper and... You see? So I have a little bit of space left there. But that was a, uh, yeah. Then I have like two boxes there. Those bl black boxes are all coloring pencils as well. And then a lot of jewelry making stuff that I really need to sort out. Copic markers, uh, crayons from uh, Sakura, all the stuff. There's paint in there, I know. Some glitter. And then I have all these... Uh, boxes that I uh, I still need to sort everything out but that's in there already that's done and then I showed uh, so these are old books for my father-in-law as well and let me show you this one because this one I showed to Annette and um, if you look at that that is so cool I absolutely love that the images in here are just amazing you see that's just and my father-in-law he had so many books did I see some yeah, you see. Yeah, memories. Exactly. Yeah, but it is. You know, it is. It is. It's not. It's not uh, antique, so not worth uh, anything. But it's just for me. It's. Uh, it's. Uh, you know, it's something I treasure. So uh, I have some really nice, and they all have really nice uh, um, drawings in there. Well, and then paper, 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 and then uh, a cinch there that I never use. Is that a cinch? I think it's a cinch. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh, and then here, oh, a fan, because I need a good fan here, which I don't have yet. There I still have space. You see, so I still can fill that. Here I have my dies. That's how I store my dies. Super simple. And, um, yeah, so that's all, uh, planner, sidekick, uh, stamps and dies from, um, Diane and Sonja. Um, Art journal, and this is all uh, Josette stuff. And then I removed some old things that we're not going to uh, get anymore, like the really, really old stuff. And then here I have the basic shapes, the boxes, and the florals all here as well in the front. 
And then here I have a piece of, so this is also Ikea, by the way. That card is Ikea. And what I did is I put a piece of magnet sheet here. And it's just for if I find little things that I uh, that I find on the floor or on my desk that I did not put back. Then I can put them there. And um, yeah, and then drawers there. So that unit was, uh, where was it? I think oh, in one of the bedrooms in the other uh, room. Oh, and there's my sewing machine. I'm always joking about my sewing machine. I really have it. <laughs> and it's always close by and I never use it. <laughs> So, yeah, Yona is very organized because I know I was showing this, eh? but uh, because it's small, I need to do that. So, and then I got that new chair. I just got that. Uh, I love that chair. I had something like this with an old one and that was falling apart. So now I have a new one. So swivels, goes up and down easily. Oh, and then I have my table. This one is the best. Uh, so my chair. Oh, and this. That is the best thing I bought for the craft room. That is actually a big trash can. I think it's originally an outdoor from Ikea. But that is amazing because it actually is big, so I can fill it up. But I also can, uh, uh, things get in there instead of outside. And then this one is the uh, table that uh, goes up and goes down. And that's ideal. So I can uh, work standing up or I can work sitting down. Love that. Love that thing. And then here in the drawers, I just have stuff. So uh, embossing powders. And here I have all my printers. And here I have fabric. Like uh, all kind of fabrics there. Some twine. You see, so st oh, that's stickers. Stickers for uh, Tom and Annika, actually. Here I have all my Sakura pens, which is way too much. You see? Oh, those things. And that's, uh, you see, I have way too much. It looks super cool. But uh, too much. That's just for my old job. What do I have in here? Stuff. Just, uh, oh, space. And that's, oh, this is, <laughs> this is fun. I came across this. So the, this, these are actually just all felt things that I colored when I did Tricam in, so we're talking 40 years ago. So I had a felt board and then uh, the kids could play with that. So I can't get rid of that. I don't know what I have in this one. Oh, all my paints and uh, pencils. And uh, this is from... Uh, Actually, from Brownsville when they um, were existing 50 years. So I was working there then and some other stuff. So um, that is it. That is my craft room. Looks cool. Eh? It's a fun place to work in, I have to say. And then here is, uh, so, oh, wait, this is the view. So here you see, so that's the street. So we live, and then the deer I just showed you is actually on the other side there. I see him still laying through the trees. But, uh, yeah, so that's the neighborhood. And... We absolutely love it. So it's, uh, yeah, really, really like it. Now, so now I need to, oh, so that was a really close up. Now I need to find myself. I can find myself here. I just need to see that I have. Let me see. Because I want to see comments as well. And I don't see comments. Let me see. I need to go back. I know I need to make it smaller then, but I don't know. Uh, because normally I always watch uh, on my, um, I always watch on my iPad. Well, otherwise, I just need to see where am I see myself live from earlier, but I don't see myself live. Just seconds, just going to try that again. Facebook, do you see my tubes there in the back? They're greater. So let me see. I because I was going to play a little bit. Yeah, because we're only 20 minutes in. So let me see. Where is my life? It's so annoying. Uh, 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 uh. Where is the life? Oh, it's here. Wait. But I don't wanna. I wanna see it, but I wanna see the comments as well. Yes, I see it. See here, show you around here. Yeah, I see it. So I see all your comments now. David, what are you doing here? I know you. Do you see the pack boys? Fantastic, huh? Okay, so I'm going to put you in here and then see how that goes. David, how is your holiday? How is your holiday? You're in Mauritius, uh, I know. I need to plug in, otherwise I might be. Okay, there we are. Okay. No, I'm not in Florida, Andrea. I said it's so warm here that it feels like Florida. 
But I say that I say that so I uh, because I actually mean I did not choose to live in Florida because it's way too warm here. And then Joop is in Canada right now and he's wearing his uh, his uh, coat again because apparently it is uh, cold there. Okay, so what I was going to, so I took some pictures this morning, found some new florals. So I want to work in my uh, TN here. And uh, I know coffee mode page holding yes, <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ken, that's why you so you is in Kenmore at the moment. So he says, yeah, it's cold. I also took uh, actually pictures of my craft room because I thought, oh, it looks nice now. So let's take some pictures. So because I know I am working on my TN with I actually added some pages from another one that I um, put in here. So I want to play a little bit in this one because it's really going to be about this house. And since we're here, I thought that would be called this one. I had in another one from the retreat and I added that here. That's from the uh, summer special, I think. No, not the summer special. Home, the home jungle. Home jungle one. So I like that. So I took these pictures and I came across, when I cleaned up, I came across this one. And I don't know which brand it is anymore. I know which lady sold it. She later worked for um, oh yeah, uh, the markers. She lives, she lives in Canada. But the, there's no brand on it. And I might have gotten a, uh, a prototype. At the, t at the time but it is a if somebody recognizes it it's a ruler and it has rubber on the back here and when you press it down you see the rubber grips you see so you press this down you see and then the rubber grips on your work which is actually super handy that's one of those things that i had tucked away never used and now i have it at hands and i am using it again it is just really handy yeah, you're welcome. It's a, you know, I really like, um, I really like uh, my craft room right now. And we love the area as well. I have to say, you know, the mountain was, of course, absolutely gorgeous. But uh, here I, uh, because right now I need to walk the dogs as well. Because, um, you see now, I press this down. Oh, I need to go up a little bit, sorry. I press this down and then it stays there so it doesn't slide. How handy is that? Oh, yeah, you have it as well, Rick. You know, I I actually think that at the time, I actually did you buy that do thing? Yeah, e exactly. Did you buy the do thing? Because I know, I think I sent I sent uh, I sent her to my Luz at the time when she was starting. I don't know for sure, but uh, I know she has red hair. I know where she lives because she lives uh, if she still lives there, of course. She lived at the coast in Va just south of Vancouver. You, you know that place where the, that little pier was? Oh, sorry. Where that little pier was in the water? She lived there. Yeah. Yeah, do it in. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I sent her to do it in at the time because I... Um, I met her and then they were just starting and they had the patent because it's patented at the back. I see that, but there's no brands on it. So I think I got, she gave me a prototype at the time. Yeah. Yeah, many, exactly, Anya, because we're talking from my time when we still lived in, uh, when we still lived in, um, in Vancouver, like in uh, Langley in Canada. So it's a long time ago. It's a long time. I know, yeah, you know, I, I know, but here I can see, then I cannot see that, then um, I'll tell you why I use the plastic side, because um, otherwise I can't see uh, through, so I cannot see the border here. So depending on what I'm doing, I use the metal or the uh, or the plastic side. But of course, I need to be careful if I cut on the plastic side that I don't cut into it. But otherwise, because if I do it this way, then I, then I would not have grip here. Let me see, show you. You see, if I would do this, I would still, uh, there's no grip on the, I cannot use a grip, you see, because then if I want to cut it here, you see, the, the rubber is not uh, uh, sitting on my uh, picture. Oh no, sneak peek, no sneak peek, not done yet. It's actually laying here right in front of me. So let me cut my pictures and then I will uh, do the sneak peek. It is, I have it in front of me. And all this other stuff is in, in front of me as well. Oh. Just a little zip of my drink. You see, but this ruler is super, super handy. So I'm just going to trim this because I want to use those pictures. Because I'll tell you, it is, um, 
Oh, and now, I'm, of course, when I'm demoing, I'm going crooked, but that's fine. It's uh, it's all good. I did bring my distresser from uh, her, from the office. I do have my scissor here. Oh, and my other one. So my little card here. And this one, I'm just got like the small parts. I'm just going to trim. But you see what I did? Talking and cutting did not go well because here I went totally off. So um, that flower. So this was a new flower I saw this morning which is actually really pretty. No idea what it is. Uh, I saw that when I was walking the dogs. Look, it's really pretty. See? I thought it was amazing. So I got that one. And then this and this actually goes together because that picked, that, flo that, that poppy that I showed you, that, po that white poppy that I uh, used this week, and I thought, oh, it's going to be a, that's not going to be, a seed pocket or maybe later when did I leave that one so this one I did and this flower because I know where I took the picture so it's still there is not this yet I don't know if it's going to be that it is actually this now you see so it looks it almost looks like a thistle which is not it's a poppy but I think it's this now I'm pretty sure that's the flower so I'm going to keep my eye out on the other ones if that's happening. This one is, I know, this. so this one turned into this one, which is uh, like about, because uh, later on I saw a uh, powder bloom, like a, um, how do you call this here, powder bloom? I have no idea. But I saw that one, um, a powder bloom, the, the thing from the powder bloom, the horse flower, I just call it differently here. But um, that is actually about 10 times smaller than this one. So this is a huge ball. So that was, no, it's not a dandelion. Oh, dandelion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dandelion is part of bloom. Yeah, that's correct. But this is not, so this actually is this one. So this one changed. So it must be related somehow. I need to figure that out. But it's, um, it's not a regular uh, dandelion. Yeah. But the dandelion, that, that's about the same. That, that shows the same. But it is different. And then I have my craft. I have other pictures here that I, uh, I don't know if I showed those already. But it's uh, so from the garden, from the bike. So we biked. We had live music here, which was great. You see, so I have all those pictures already. So I want to use those. Although the sky is always so blue here. And the, that's not what the paper is. So that's kind of a, a difference. You see, and then these for my craft room I will use. But it's all selfie printed. I will use, or should I use these today? No, because then I need to cut those again. Well, I can do this. Let me trim those because it's kind of fun if I use those today. There's an app to identify. Yeah, Linda, I, I, you know, I always thought, and I actually have, uh, also I have, um, hey, let me do it with the metal now. Let's see how it goes. I kind of know where I need to be, but um, I have all kind of books downstairs as well, like those little uh, folders that I can, you see, I kind of need to eyeball it now that I know that I'm in the middle. So that's what makes this a little bit more difficult if you use the metal side, you see. Oh, my cutting knife is not strong. And the small ones, I can just like cut like this. And maybe I can cut, when it's small, you know, a lot of times I trim as well like this. And that depends on the scissor, right? Because I know not each scissor is, uh, is the same. Because some scissors never cut straight for me. Do you have that as well? That some... Some, uh, some ones are always crooked when I cut. So I will put this away for now. But it's in my eyesight. So that's what I always tell you with the tape. So this one is now has a uh, like a prominent place in my craft room. That skinny toe. That is so old. Top. Uh, top. No idea. No idea. Does not have a brand. Yeah. I have, I have small cutting mats as well, but this one I have no idea anymore. Yeah. Seek from... Uh, identify flat. Okay. No, that's, Teresa, that's not always true. I, I only, Because I know I can cut straight, but some scissors just always go... Yeah, that, that doesn't make any sense, eh? What I'm saying right now. I don't know. Sometimes I think that the scissors just go uh, a different direction and I'm cutting. 
but that cannot be true. So what I'm saying right now is just ball. And I did not have a cocktail yet, uh, David. I did not have a cocktail and now I'm going to cook it. But of course, what I did with the pixies in my uh, journal, I actually used that distresser. And the distresser is a savior for everything you do. Because uh, that just makes everything that is crooked straight. I know, Madeline. And I am, of course, I'm left-handed. And I always use right-handed scissors. So maybe that's, uh, that's the thing. Could be. Maybe that's it. Could that be it? That it's just that I'm, yeah, I don't know. Well, that went well. It does make sense because it's happened to me. <laughs> yeah, so because I cannot, I cannot use left-handed sit. I have one. It's actually, I think I have one. Get my, is this it? Yeah, my. No, it's not. I know I have one. This is my fabric scissor. No, it's not. I know I have one left-handed scissor somewhere. But I don't know where. But it's not handy. It's not handy. But then, of course, I have my distresser. And distresser is always good. You see, because that always helps. You can always also distress with your scissor, of course. But just to not hurt myself, it's easier to use this. Just going to distress them all for a little bit. And somehow I always use the same size. I don't know why that is. Also, habit, habit. You cut right-handed, Teresa. Oh, that's different. Oi, oi, oi. You cut right-handed. Let me try. So now this looks totally weird for me. Can I do that? I definitely need distresser now. Hey, done. <laughs> No, I never, I never, uh, I, I, I could uh, write uh, right handed at one point, but I don't think I can do that anymore. I can, I can always do it, but I don't know how it's going to look. Yeah, but uh, Linda, that's not, um, oh, you could write handed too, though, oh, although you're left handed. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I just cannot use a left-handed scissor. It, it's really weird for me. It, it's try to, yeah, it, it just looks weird. The, the blades are weird. Same as, honestly, there's, I, I love Tim. I love all his products and uh, I love Tonic. So I love all that, but that left-handed uh, special black plate, that didn't make any sense to me. That, that was a product that I thought, okay, that is not necessary. You know, that that, cur that black board. Where did my... Oh, you know, I have that as well. That's still somewhere. I don't know. Here I just have my big... So here I have my big cutting mat. I just put, uh, you see, this one on my table, which I love. And um, those sheets that I'm working on here, I actually have those under my uh, green uh, plate here. So this one is under my cutting mat, so they stay flat. And when I need them at home, I have them. So uh, instead of rolling them up, this is easier. Could it with my right better than I could with my, oh, yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. They used to give us lefty rounded scissors, so I learned to use my other hands. Yeah, you know, I know in the early days that people uh, did that, that you had to learn uh, I'm not that old that they slapped me on my hand to learn to uh, write with my right hand. I know that happened in the early days, but uh, not uh, not in my time anymore. So uh, that I'm, I'm happy with that, of course. Happy with that. Okay. In dot is links handig, maar knip rechts. Oh, really? A double handig dochter. Okay. Marianne, how old is she? Because I know that happened at school earlier. Yeah, I have the left-handed glass mat. It's nice having the palette on the left. Yeah. Okay. Is it necessary? <laughs> Summer. <laughs> I know you have all those handy stuff. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't understand the glass plate. For me, it didn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you miss. Oh, you can. Uh, yeah, you can watch back. Uh, of course, Penny. Yeah. Oh, you got smacked on the hands. Uh, 
because I'm left-handed. Diana, I, I, I'm not going to ask how old you are, but I'm, I'm 61. And I know before my time, I know they did that, but uh, uh, not anymore. Yeah. Oh, really? Just 21? And she learns, really? That is really old-fashioned. And the teacher must have been 80. Or not, or not. Okay, so that's the house, you see. So uh, that's what I started with. And then I added this one because it has a house tag in it. So I thought that was cool. But now I need to find a double page or something for my craft room pictures. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So I have some extra. So this is going to have the other pictures there and there. That's the one I did uh, yesterday. Oh, I also found the... Uh, because I told you that I... Uh, I said I did that before. And that, of course, was when I did... Uh, that was last week because I know I cut up that. Um, I slept my brother. <laughs> that was just fine. So this one. So here I did. That was last week when I made that box. You see, that's when I cut apart the. Uh, when I cut apart that ornament. I knew I did it before, but I didn't know where anymore. At the end of world, April forty-five. Yeah, yeah. That is. That's really at the end of the war, uh, Angelique. Yeah. Love it, Irish show. Yeah, I know that's 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 just a great die. And this is what I did with the paste. And then I had this one, you see, with the I slided it in here and I added this one, the double one, because I had that. So that's always uh of course one of my favorites. But now I have plenty of pages in here. Oh, and I added a um oh I can put a picture on here, that's fun. I'm going to put one of the bike pictures. Let me see if I can you see, so I put that picture in my pocket here. So this is just stamped. And then in here I have now a uh, one of the labels. And I added a piece of ribbon on there. You see? So let me see if I have a picture that fits this from the house. Does that bike picture fit on there? No, it's too big. I can trim that down. I can trim, but I want to have the white. You know, I can just stick it on here as well. That is fine. I'll make it a little bit smaller. Choices, choices. Do I have a smaller picture that fits that? Let me see. Garden, rocks, that's the biking. That's from, that's the band. The band one is nice. Let me see, but then I have two. Yes, I can fit that on there. Can I fit those on there? Exactly. I'm just going to stick those on there. This, so this, the what this is, this is called the manor house. And that's on the, that's on the hill here as well. And they have live music, and it was actually a really good band. But the pictures are not that special, but it's a very nice memory. And we have it each month, So, but I think I told that already. So the 13th of July, they are there again. Oh, but I did not distress these yet, so I need to distress those. Put one on each side. Yeah, I can do that as well. I can do that as well. Let me see. Uh, ta -ta, ta -da -ta -ta. Could be, and then, for, yeah, with the big one, eh? Do you like the big one better? Do you like the bike better? This one, and then trim that. That's actually what I... But I cannot trim the side because then I'm cutting off my blue bike, which I don't want to do. But I know what I'm going to do. Wait. I'm going to trim off the white side because I can make it a little bit shorter. And that's what we have here in the area. We can bike so much, which is really nice. So he really takes his mountain bike at 6 in the morning and goes mountain biking straight into the hills, which is great. Thank you, Marjolein. Yeah, like, comment and share, of course. I'm going to trim this a little bit shorter. Like, comment and share for a chance to win the $50 gift certificates. And I need to cut off a little bit from this as well. I'm just going to eyeball this. This is tricky, but... And then this dress. And then put a little frame behind it. The, the, the Yeah, it's a teal color. So it's, it looks a little bit different here. But uh, Joop's bike is also teal. So mine is electric. Actually, Joop's is electric as well. So Joop has an electric mountain bike here. And then... Um, yeah, he can just bike away. Oh, I was going to do a sneak peek. Sneak Let's do that first. Because honestly, I'm going to hang up on you. Before I do that. So... The, I did not track again, but I did get tracking yesterday that it shipped both to the Netherlands as well as to the US. So it's on its way. 
But then uh, what happens then, so it's on its way and then um, you cannot see anything for a day or two because then it's in the air or so you don't get an update. But I'm hopeful that we can do the release. I know, sneak peek, yeah, exactly. I totally forgot about that. Let's sip, let's sip. So do, let's do some drum roll. So that will be your set. Mm -hmm. And it will be... Um, oh, let me show you this. I, I think Annette posted. I don't know if Annette posted in the group. So this one, like a, a coaster. Uh, that uh, Katie, katiebits.com. Yeah, so, so she actually has a, an Etsy shop as well. It's K Katie Dits Bits with a Z. Katie. She makes, uh, so this is a coaster, and she made one for everybody at the retreat. Create, learn, relax, Rocky Mountain Creative Retreat, May 2022. How cool is that? So that's my coaster here. And, um, oh, so, and that's next to the, where I have my, so uh, I have a sample here that's actually made by Anita. So it's a slimline. So um, what is from Ikea? Uh-oh. Where, okay, I don't know what's from Ikea. I know, the coast is beautiful. Okay, let's put this out of the way. Uh, so, um, Josette is getting a release. And it's, uh, so I hope, it's going to be 28th or 29th. Uh, oh, the desk is from Ikea. Yes, yes, yeah. And it's not big, but it's perfect. And uh, to be able to go up and down, because I, I like to work um, standing up as well. And um, I can sit or stand up. It's Yeah, it's really nice. So it's a collection, and uh, you guessed already, it's monsters. So there are a few monsters, there are some uh, fun accessories, and but it's super cool. So, look at those. So this one I made myself, and this one Anita created. How cool is that? How cool is that? So this one I put a Christmas hat on already, because uh, we have uh, Creative Crafts uh, next, or the 29th. And, um, and of course, Anita went uh, creative again. And uh, she did, uh, so the hand in front of the eye. And uh, so there will be three different monsters, but you can mix and match. And um, there is actually a, uh, oh, let me show you. Wait, it's not, I did not, because I have everything here. Some, boop, 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 some real small samples. That I'm, oh, it's not in here. Oy, 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 oy. Where did I, because there is a trash can as well. Oh, here, look at this one. It, I need to, yeah, it's so much fun. So here, look at this one from Anita. <laughs> look at this one. Isn't that cool? And that's a combination of, uh, so that eye comes from another one. And then this, so this is the same one. You see, so this one and this is the same. So she just offset the eye completely. Isn't that cool? It's going to be cool. Yeah, so it's monsters. And then uh, we have a fantastic... Yeah, there's a trash can. It, it's super, super nice. So it's... Uh, or a monster cook Oh, okay, for your cookbook. Party monsters. Yes. Yeah, I actually... Yeah, you said kids will love them. I love these. I love these. And um, yeah, so we have the cookie here. And uh, yeah, comes with stamps. And uh, it's super, super cool. So that's going to be next... Uh, or the, yeah, next Thursday or Friday, I think it is, 28th or 29th, in the call. And uh, of course, Anita did here the background and then the stencil. So that is, I know, I know, <laughs> I know. What do you say? Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, is it Oscar the Grouse? You know, I, I'm not too, so updated on that, but uh, it is super cool. Do I have my, wait, I think I have my trash can in here, just a second. Let me find it. You see? Small small space. Small space. Yeah, I have it here. Wait. Because I have all the parts already, of course, to work with. And then we have, uh, like, the pop-up ones will be uh, back in stock. Because they're coming with the same shipments. Here's my trash can. Uh, yeah, there's a new stamp set coming as well. And that's a trash can. And then you have a lid and all kind of, you know, like a... Tins and uh, yeah, yeah. Should I show? Wait. Here, you see. So that's a trash can. How cool is that? You see it? 
Is dat cool? So the monsters, of course, can go in there. So that's just, ja. Uh, yeah. That's super, super nice. So that will be next week. Uh, and that is uh, the first, so that's going to be the first one. So that's still in June. And in July, we uh, get um, releases as well, of course. So now this one on the tag, I'm not going to do a lot, I think, but you know, whatever. It's fun. Thank you. Yeah, it's a, uh, yeah. I don't think Josette is here today. She's actually, you know, because I don't know if you noticed, but on that, uh, on that board I showed you with the tubes, there are two uh, open packs. And uh, Josette is actually on Grenville Island right now. Uh, and she will pick up. Um, what am I going to do on here? I'll just add it a little bit, probably the tag, because you cannot do a lot there. And Josette is picking up the missing colors. The missing colors. Because I need those. I know it. No, 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 not, not, uh, not another sneak. Because this one I know is shipping. So this one I know, uh, if any, you know, it, it's, it comes, uh, it comes uh, on time. But uh, since I don't know uh, what the rest will do, I'm not doing any sneak peek before I know it's coming. Because I got myself in trouble with that several times. Summer Hill, you need it. Don't you have it? <laughs> yeah, you have it. What do you say? Cute, cute, cute. Now I can fonts bad. Oh, I, I think I didn't understand you, David. I don't know if he did something wrong, but yeah. And trash can from shows it. Oh yeah, Sesame Street had a trash can. That's true. That's true. You know, somehow I uh, never watched the law of Sesame Street. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. So we, because we have a design team group and I know uh, some have made some fun things already. Uh, you need it, Sylvia. You know, you know what I told you, yes, Sylvia? Uh, you know what you remember what I told you, Sylvia, when you were in Canada. Remember what I told you. Okay, that on there, and then I think I might just distress these and put those on the back side. Oh no, that, oh, that has nothing to do with the concert anymore. Where's the, I had a picture printed. Oh, that one is small. Oh, this was on the same. So we're going to put this on the back, or if it's going in here. So that's just like when we were biking here in the area, because it has a great, great uh, biking trail. Maybe I just put this here, but I'm not going to do that now. No, no, no. Or just on the back here. No, because then I need to decorate it. Because, um, just to remind me which picture is in there. So I might decorate this and then put it on, on here. But that's for later then. That's for later. Uh, oh, can't go to... Oh, okay. <laughs> I had too, you had too many... I was wondering, uh, David, what's your time now? Because I had no idea. I'm drinking just orange juice here uh, with nothing, well, sparkling water. But uh, uh, what time zone are you in, David? I have no idea. Big Bird. Oh, yeah, Big Bird. Yeah. Could we make Big Bird with a stack? Well, maybe we're stacking things. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, so this one about the fabric, this is really just the, the pocket from the jeans. So it's from the jeans I cut apart. Oh, ten. Oh, okay. That's time to go to bed, uh, David. I was wondering. Yeah. Orange juice and amaretto, really? Oh. Okay. Today is our day in Quebec. Oh, yeah. Can I see the back? What, oh, yeah. what, what, what is that? Today is in Quebec. Guess I'll have the collection for a gift. What is your day in Quebec? I have no idea. I'm missing so much. I'm missing so much. Oh, Sylvia, challenge, challenge, big bird. <laughs> Elmo was my favorite. Sambuca paralyzers are my vacation cocktail. You know, M Mark is actually a few days, he's on a, he just boarded a, um, um, a cruise boat in, um, in Florida for only a few days. He's back on Monday. 
But uh, they're going to the Bahamas. So just back and forward to the Bahamas uh, as a family trip with um, Danielle's family. And uh, when I went to the Bahamas, I had the Bahama Mamas, which was uh, yellow or blue. Was blue with yellow? I think was it was the yellow. Wait for the new release, Sylvia. Wait for the new release. So this one, of course, should have pictures with deer there. But I don't have that. You see, I'm I'm just not. Because we had so many. Did, did I take a You know, I, I know I took pictures. Because I tell you what we had. Oh, this is this morning when I was walking the dogs. Uh, what we had um, last night. No, you, yeah, it was yesterday or the day before. We were walking. And then literally there's small pathways and the deer are just grazing. They're just grazing left and right. And so I need to watch so well to kind of make sure that I don't, uh, that I don't um, walk into a deer without uh, kind of uh, letting James go. What else can I do with those? I, I was still was looking for a, for a craft room. Uh, I have two checks here. What am I doing? I've not, you know, there's no alcohol in that thing. But um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I've been talking so much that I don't know what to do anymore. Ta -ta 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 -ta. I was looking. Oh, there's some blue there. I can do some craft room stuff here. That's actually fun. I'm just going to glue some craft room stuff here. Because um, you see, I'm not very... Oh, I did uh, rough those up all already. And I'm just going to hide the bottom there. And of course, that's that great. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to add a picture there. It, it will be fun, this one. So then I can take it home and I travel and kind of show the family the house. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, Big Bird was yellow. That's what I thought. That's kind of in my uh, head. Oh, you did, David? <laughs> hey, don't, 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 don't write uh, silly things there, David. <laughs> But you know, you're on a holiday, so you should enjoy it. But when it's really hot, oh, you see, then I'm going to cover this. That's a shame. Can I stick this off? No. Then I'm going to stick it here. Because I don't want to hide that thing. Oh, and then a little bit here. So I see some open from there. I love my pegboard with the paints. Oh, and the other thing, so what I still need to do is in front of me here, I still have a white wall. And that's where the pictures will be from the kids. So I need some uh, frames and kind of hang some. Uh, and what I need to hang on the wall as well are some, um, I have the racks, what's not here, all my ink pads. So I am going to hang some ink pads, uh, those wooden things from the, because the oxides are in big, of course. Yeah. Oh, in, in, in the Netherlands, blue, and in the U.S., yellow? Really? Uh-oh. Grover. You said, I'm not into that, uh, but I am into the monsters. Grover is also blue. Well, I think we can Google. We can Google. In the blue, in Nederland, my big word was geel. Okay. Weird. Sylvia, I know you'll do it. Um, you have to be patient for a few days, uh, Sylvia. For a few days. Oh, this is nice here. Because that blue, you see this one is... I love... You see, so that cabinet is actually second hand. Um, and that actually has a bottom part and I can take this off. So what I have at the office behind me, that was something the same as this, but then plain. And um, that's also a bottom and a top separate. I love that cabinet. And as I told, I, I, I was thinking about making my whole craft room white. and uh, But then I thought, no, that's not me. I probably need stuff around me for my creativity. I don't know. It would be too organized for me, probably. Too organized for me. Is the deer still there? No, he's gone. You know what I didn't see yet? And I know they're in the neighborhood because they posted on a neighborhood Facebook page. There are fawns, of course, like young ones with spots in the neighborhood. But I did not see that yet. Oh, yeah. I used that Tim Holtz, uh, that tonic thing. This one. It's called, uh, it's from Tonic. It's a distresser. If you, if you Google Tonic distresser, I think it's now in black as well. Uh, but um, I like that a lot. And I put a ribbon on it. 
so I can hang it, but mostly so I can find it. Because this is only the gray, you see that it's too, uh, too plain. And I actually saw that, I know I saw that at Hobby Vision, uh, in Reise. Um, they had it there with a ribbon on it. And I thought, oh, that's so, because then it's easy to find. Easy to find. So I'm just going to stick this here. And then I have space for one more above there. Let's see. Shall I do my colorful one? Or this one? Oh, let's do this one, because then I have... Uh, a few more. Look at my funny little guys there. I put these ones here, like that one on top there. And then it's uh, an hour already. You can also find them in fabric stores as thread cutters. Oh, is that this? Is that a thread cutter? Really? <laughs> so they made something for that's what, what smart people do, eh? That's what smart people do. They see something and think, oh, you know, we could use that in crafts as well. Oh, I know, Brooke, that, that's all. Oh, oh, yeah, but uh, Janine had it in a in store in, in Reise. She had the ribbon on it and it makes a huge difference. Because first of all, I hang it now. But it's also, you see, when this is on the table or this is on the table. You can imagine in your... In your uh, you know, in your stuff, that this is, uh, you know, this is much more uh, easy to find. You know what I see with my laptop? The comments are not so far behind. That's actually much nicer than... Um oh, you missed a sneak peek. Uh, it's, yeah, I did it already. I can still, I can show it. That's fine. Because we kind of, you know, I was not very productive this day, today. But it was fun. And I actually was super productive, just not crafty, because I did. You see, so that's what I do. So this is a little bit of a photo album. I might add some something behind here, actually. Because it needs, I have that really nice fabric stuff here that I made. You see? It needs something behind it. Otherwise, it's too plain. Otherwise, too plain. I'm going to do that. Wait. Uh, so these are just the stamps that I used there from the... Uh, from the Art Journal special. And I stamped on fabric. And I know I used it. I, did I use it on the earlier page? Oh, here. No, not there yet. Oh, it's not close. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift this up a bit. And snuck this underneath here. You see, I'm ripping the paper here. Doesn't matter. I should put a little bit of glue there. A little bit of glue. Yeah, I, I gave a tour uh, th uh, through my craft room here and I, uh, oops, and, um, you know, and we did a sneak peek. So if you want to see that, you need to watch back. Well, I can, I can show for the people that missed it. You see, just makes it a little bit more interesting there. And I like that. I like that. Okay, that's it. And this is some uh, cheesecloth. I need to buy new ones. But yeah. So uh, for the people, so next, so the 28th or the 29th, we will have the release from, where's my other monster? My monster escaped. Uh, from Josette. And that will be monsters. Monsters. And then uh, with trash can and some other accessories, some party accessories. Uh, so that will be a super fun release so that's for the next week and it will be on create and craft on the 29th as well yeah 29th yeah so i think that's it let's you know i'm going to take my camera out and then uh oh not not sure and odd lights of course i have all those and then here i am again so that is it. Did I forget anything? No, I think I showed you all. So, but you can see this is a fun space uh, to work in. Did I froze? Uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> I don't know. Might be the internet, I don't know. So thank you all for watching. I wanna uh, wish you all a wonderful weekend and I'll see you again on Monday. Bye-bye.